Right, today we are talking non-slip gunnels on an arabo using sand and gloss paint. First job is to mask up an area here um, where we're going to have our sanded panel for grip. Um, then we're going to go along, give this a light sand in here. We're going to paint it with a coat of gloss. Then we're going to put some sand on the top of it. We're going to wait for that to dry. We're going to brush or hoover off the excess. Um, then that'll have another coat of gloss on top of that sand. We'll pull the tape off, leaving some nice sanded grippy panels so you don't fall off and break one's neck. So that's what's going on. All right, here we go. Got the first bits of tape laid down here. Yeah. I mean, the boat's 57 foot long. Um, so yeah, it's probably, it's probably a good 50 foot of tape there. Times two, 100 foot each side. All right, so next job is a very little light rub over without digging into the tape. Just to give it a little key up, ready for the next coat of paint. Just like, just want to dull it down, go right up next to that edge of that tape. Just to give a key so the next coat of paint can get into the surface a bit. I mean it's not that feasible there because that's on top of old grippy surface. But it'll be better, here's more relevant. So just a little scuff up. Just knock that shine off it basically. You can see where the rain got to it. Thank you very much, Mother Nature. So that all the way around. Continue. Right, so we've been down, we've rubbed it down in between the strips of masking tape. I've been around, I've got a piece of clean cloth. I use a little drop of my panel wipe just to degrease in between them lines. And also that, that cloth helps just make sure all them bits of tape are smooth down so you don't get no paint bleeding underneath. So Tristan is gonna roll the paint on for me and I am gonna throw the sand on and we'll show you where it's done. Lovely. Right, so we've got a trim down roller that's only as wide as our little bands that we're painting in. Um, so we don't end up getting blinking paint everywhere. Um, rolling! Rolling! Right, so a nice little roll in that section there. Reasonably heavy with the paint. Don't worry about laying it off with a brush. Then we get some sand in a cup. Sprinkled on. It's easy as that. Right, a little bit more sprinkling. Right, and that's it, we're sprinkled all along now. Looks like the tide's gone out. Um, so we'll leave that now. You can see the sand, the, the paint is starting to soak into that, that layer of sand underneath. Um, yeah, other side. Right, so it's the morning after, the day before. Um, it's been left overnight to dry. I'm now gonna sweep this off into a tub so it can be reused. And then it's going to get another coat over it. Lovely jubbly. Brushing. Oh, don't scratch me no paint. Tristan's the man for all this. He's really good at this. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around, I'm going to sweep it off um, and then another coat in there, peel the tape off, jobs are good one. New technique! Oh, the camera's in the way now for this bit. Lovely. Right, 
Right, I've brushed most of it off now. Caught it in my tub. I'm just gonna drop back along. Just get off that last bit of excess. So I don't want too much loose, well, I don't really want much loose sand on here now. For coming across with the last coat of gloss. So I'll do that all the way along. Oh, very repetitive, but worth it. Because you don't want to break your neck falling off of these gunnels. These get so slippery. And the tape, if you use the grip tape, the water gets under it and stuff and it just rots it out. So this is the best way of doing it. Sometimes the old fashioned way is best. And I find paints that have already got the grip stuff already in them. Um, the grip's just too fine. So you're better off with a bit of sand. Right, so after a last brush off, we're left now with this surface. This is quite solid, this surface. There's a little bit you can brush off with your fingers, but then another coat of the green rolled across on top. She'll be lovely. Let's get some paint. Right, time for the final coat of gloss on top of our sand. And we peel it off. Right, here we go. There's my little roller. Chop down roller. Just wrapped in an old glove. Pour some of that in there. Lovely. Right, little roll in there, load the roller up. Yeah. Right, now ever so carefully. Get a nice roll in. and just carry on this gives such a hard wearing surface i really do think it's it's hard to beat you know um yeah it really really wears well so there you go that's how we do that so paint the rest of the gunnels and peel off the tape probably give it half hour an hour then i'll peel the tape off before it fully dries Right, very close up here. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it, but you want to work it right into that sand. You see it soaking. You don't want to miss a bit of it, not any. You see it soaking. You might need to back roll a couple of times. But it's coming up very, very nice. Narrowboat hands is happy. Right, last bit now. Thank God. Be time to peel it off in a little while. I mean, in all honesty, the other side probably is ready to go. Where it's been a little while since I was round now. It was probably about an hour ago I was round that side. Um, but we will leave it a little bit. Just don't want it to harden right off. Like you know, I still want it to be soft for the peel off. So there we go. Again, make sure it's all rolled right in. Gets right in between all them little grains of sand. It's beautiful. Happy days. Peeling. Right, so here we go. It's been left a little while now. It is still, well, I say it's still wet. Yeah, the, the, the unsanded bit is still sticky, but this doesn't feel sticky at all, but I wouldn't walk on it for a good day. So, right, here we go. This is the moment of truth. Because obviously I don't want it to pull. This is where you this, this is where you find out whether you sanded well enough. Prior to putting your gloss on. Just chuck it on the floor in a minute. I'm going to pick it all up. It's actually quite difficult to do whilst holding a camera. There we go, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And then I can finish up in this, this area here when it's back in the water. Too hard to get to here. So yeah, lovely.
Beautiful. Just peel all that lot off now. Hey, hey. Right, let's go for the long bit. There we go. Lovely. Nice, beautiful, straight, sanded edge. There you go, you get the idea. Continue. Right, little bit of a tip when you're doing this, or not a tip, I suppose just do it blinking properly. Um, Tris is going to tell me off now. Um, there was a little bit of sand still on that tape. And as I've peeled the tape, it's come across onto here. I, I would have thought it's going to brush off. I'm not going to touch it now, um, but quite annoying. I've done it there. And I've done it there, and I've done it a little bit there, and then I realised for the rest of it, and I blew, I blew the excess sand away before I peeled the tape. Silly boy! All right, peeling again. If I can get this edge off. Come on. All right, here we go. That makes a lovely, nice edge. Really nice. There we go. I won't have the sand problem this time because it's on the outside edge. Although that did, oh, there's another bit there, look. But I did just try just now and it did 99% brush off. So it wasn't the end of the world after all. Giving myself a hard time about it. Here we go. Onward. Feeling, yeah, this is going to be really hard wearing and safe as well. And it's cheap, cheap to do, better than the tape. If you use tape, the water gets under it um, and causes the top of the gunnels to rust if you use like that skateboard tape. And I don't believe that's that cheap anyway. Bag of kiln dried, kiln dried um, paving sand, it's like probably about a fiver. Oh, I don't know, in today's price, this is probably about 500 quid. Um, yeah, cheap, very effective, hard wearing. What more do you want? Can't beat the old fashioned way sometimes, can you? I mean, some of them grippy paints are really, really expensive as well, aren't they? So, here we go. Oh, God. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'll do the most boring YouTube video, peeling tape. Carry on. Oh, I need to get something to stand on now. Uh, we'll just tippy toe it. Tippy toes. And then I'm going to take this cratch off and I'm going to do inside this deck and all that once it's back in the water. I'm also going to go along and I shall wet and dry um, 2,000 or 2,500 grit wet and dry sandpaper. Um, bucket of water, rubber block um, and a little bit of washing up liquid in the bucket of water and go around and just give this a very very light sand and then I'll get some G4 compound um, with a buffing machine and I'll give it all a buff up and that should blend up it'll never be the same as this new stuff but it should blend up and the whole thing should look nicely as one then hopefully Lovely, looks really nice. And more peeling. Yes, lovely. I'll just drop that on the floor, I'm going to pick it all up in a minute. Lovely. 
absolutely stunning I think you'll agree so if you want some grip on your narrowboat do it like that the Tristan method that's what I'm calling that well done Trist